What are you going to do now, my queen? I'm going to announce an abstract gallery collaboration. It's going to be open to everyone, so we can support each other. What do you think? I think that's why you are the queen of home decor. Thank you, girl. Hello, loves. This is Live Right Now. Welcome to my channel. I know better late than never. I decided for my abstract art project, I would duplicate a project that Sharon She So Fabulous had on her channel as a tribute for her coming up with this wonderful idea. If you want to see how I did that, you know what you got to do. Keep watching. Well, first I got this piece of plywood from Lowe's and I picked this piece out because I really like the different piece of whatever this is they use to put this together. I figured it would add interest to the project. So this is the SKU number you would need to purchase that yourself. If you miss it, just pause it. Okay, now I'm taking this silver spray paint and making sure that I cover up the green whatever that is that they put on it at the lows and I am taking the time to add this piece on the back I'm going to be using this to hang the wall art on the wall but I want to do that first so they don't interfere with the project later and of course I will add everything I use down below I got these mirrors from Dollar Tree and I'm going to glue these down with the E6000 because I thought these mirrors were a little, a little heavy for the hot glue but um, I'm going to go back and forth from using the hot glue in the E6000 throughout this project. So one of the instructions with this collab is to say what this piece of art meant to me. As you can see throughout this project, I just used the mirrors from Dollar Tree. And now I'm going to be using these small town mirrors that I got from Michaels. And going back to what it means to me, to me, that's, this is life. No matter what we go through, the broken times, the straight times, the little pieces, the little things we have to do to make things work in our life. But in the end, you would end up with something so beautiful if you just take the time to look. So of course, I'm going to add all the information to all the supplies that I use and where you can get it down in the description box. Okay, I didn't want to edit this part out. This is why I love the E6000. I realized I made a mistake when I was planning out where I should lay these different pieces. So as you saw, it just slid over because it's still not dry yet because E6000 takes time to dry. And as you can see, I was able to slide um, the new piece right in without any problems but with the hot glue it just would have been there so that's another reason why I like the E6000 for this part okay that section I just completed it I just used it as a barrier kind of to separate the sections so what I'm going to do now is take these mirrors from the Dollar Tree and just wrap it with a towel and take the hammer and hit it in the middle to make the pieces so that, and, and the reason I wrap the towel around it so the pieces would not pop up into my face, but of course you can use safety glasses as well. And I just started off by putting down the big pieces and I did use E6000, but when I did the other side, I used hot glue and it worked better. And I do not recommend for anyone to take their hand and move it around like I just did. The mirrors are very, very, very thin. So I never got cut with doing it using my hands, but that's me. 
um, not recommended for anyone not to use gloves and use safety glasses, please. First, I apply all the big pieces and then I go back and detail more with smaller pieces. But I learned when I go to glue down the smaller pieces, using a hot glue is definitely a better method. Also, the hot glue adheres to this plywood way better than the E6000. I was really surprised. So even though you see me using the E6000 on these big pieces, whether you use E6000 or the hot glue on this part right here, it really doesn't matter because with the mirror being so thin, the hot glue was actually a better choice. Now, I didn't intend to use any putty or spackle or anything with this because I didn't want that bright white look. But I just came up with the idea of, I was like, you know, I wonder if I add a little paint, how it would turn out. And it actually turned out pretty good. You only need enough paint just to tint the putty or the spackle, honestly. You only need a little bit. And I added this powder because it was too thin and I wanted it to be thick. And um, kind of like pancake batter. I guess that's the best way to describe it. And then I just added it on with the putty knife and made sure it was smooth. And then after it dries, I'm going to scrape it off with the putty knife a little bit. But it was best just to use warm, hot water. I mean, sorry, warm water with the cloth and wipe off the excess. And then wipe it off with window cleaner after it dries. But I didn't do that to the next day. Okay, while waiting for that putty to dry, I am going to take this hot glue gun and let the hot glue drizzle, no particular pattern. And then I'm gonna take this Mod Podge and my paintbrush and I'm gonna paint the Mod Podge all over where I just placed the hot glue. I'm gonna sprinkle glitter on top of that. And then I noticed after I did it that I needed to do another layer. And I realized that after I let it dry overnight, so make sure you let it dry overnight before you, you do the hot glue again and the Mod Podge and the glitter. So I did that and I really liked the way that it turned out. But we just really didn't want the glitter to overpower this section because to me it just it took away from the look that I was going for. So I took some leftover Christmas bead garland that I had and some sequins and, and kind of pressed it in while it was still wet with the Mod Podge and went over it again with the Mod Podge and after it dried added a clear coat of clear sealer and I was really surprised how well it held it on and how beautiful it really turned out. Like I showed you before, I'm showing you how I'm taking a warm cloth and getting rid of that excess putty now that it has dried with the putty knife and the damp cloth. And then I'm going to finish with cleaning it with some window cleaner. Okay, this is the finished product. This is coming out of my um, bedroom. And this is in a hallway on this wall right here that is pretty much um, an awkward spot because if you look right here, you can't put a um, table or chair or a little shelf or anything right here because there's not enough space. It's only, I guess, about five inches and I don't want anything sticking out so I can't get around it so this is what it looks like on this wall right here the wall is gold I really like it it's like 
You see their mirror right here. The broken pieces of mirror, then the tile. And then what I ended up doing is taking little flakes of sequence. I will add a shot in it in the video. And you got this from Dollar Tree, a little bit of the bronze and some silver little flakes that I had here. And I pressed them in the same way I did the balls. And I sprayed it on a clear coat and it turned out gorgeous. The texture is gorgeous. The hot glue looked really great. And putting that second layer of Mod Podge really made it nice and stiff. Those pieces aren't going anywhere. Because I even saw one right here hanging down. And I thought, let me pick that off. But it it doesn't come off. So, And I hung it up by that strew that I showed you before up here. I mean, I'm sorry, that piece in the back. And then I put a, a little strew right here because I didn't want it to move around too much. So let's put it right here to kind of have something to just keep it stable. And I love it, I love it, I love it. I wanna thank Sharon, she's so fabulous for coming up with this great collab idea. I had fun. I am so happy and appreciative of everyone that participated. I'm gonna watch all the participants videos and I will hope that you would do the same. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button and share this video wherever you like to share videos. And make sure you thumbs it up. And as always, be your own kind of beautiful because you, my love, are beautiful. See you next time. Bye.